I'm going to do a dangerous experiment most OLED owners won't even dare to contemplate on their OLED display. Here, I have disabled the pixel shifting and screensaver protection on an LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE OLED monitor. Then, I put up a 10% window test pattern at full blast in HDR, not for a few seconds, not for a few minutes, but for more than 4 hours continuously to see if the rectangular window would be burnt into the OLED panel. After 4 hours had passed, I switched off the lights, adjusted my camera exposure, and displayed a full field grey pattern on the monitor, since it's easier to detect any resulting screen burn in a pitch black room. As you can see for yourself, there is now a darker rectangular area in the center of the screen, as a direct consequence of displaying a white patch of the exact same size in HDR without interruption for such a long period of time. But before I poured myself a glass of champagne and started crying into it for causing permanent damage to the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE monitor, I put the monitor into standby using the supplied remote control, at which point a notification popped up stating that the image cleaning process would begin. After 10 minutes or so, I turned on the monitor and put up the same full field grey pattern again, receiving a notification in the meantime that the image cleaning procedure had been completed. And just like magic, the rectangular afterglow had disappeared, with generally cleaner screen uniformity as well all thanks to the image cleaning process which is one of the many anti-screen burn measures implemented on the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE, emboldening LG Electronics to start covering OLED burn-in in its 2-year warranty, at least for USA owners. Before I explain how image cleaning works, let's go through each anti-screen burn measure provided on the LG 27GR95QE which can be found within the OLED Care submenu. The first item is Screen Move, which is pixel shifting, an algorithm that moves the entire frame by several pixels at certain intervals. Now, some of you may be tempted to switch this off, due to a common misconception that pixel shifting would just spread any burn-in caused by static logos over a larger area. However, the WRGB OLED panel on the 27GR95QE came from LG Display, and according to the panel vendor who has at least one decade of experience in manufacturing WRGB OLED panels found in the majority of OLED TVs on the market today, pixel shifting actually serves to not only reduce the maximum luminance level each pixel is subjected to over time, but also distribute the accumulated stress more evenly among pixels along a hard border. So unless you are easily distracted by the entire frame being repositioned slightly from time to time, it's best to leave screen move engaged, especially since the whole picture will always be displayed on screen without getting cropped off due to the overprovision of some pixels beyond the 2560 x 1440 resolution. Four modes are available, each with somewhat different algorithms. We think mode 4 is probably the least noticeable during day-to-day -day use. Next, screen saver. With this setting engaged, if a static image had been left on screen for 10 minutes or longer, the monitor will automatically switch off to protect the panel from developing permanent OLED burn-in. The image cleaning option allows you to manually run a minor compensation cycle, also known as off-RS compensation in LG Display's lingo, whereas the pixel cleaning setting will start a major compensation cycle, otherwise called JB compensation by LG Display. Here is the difference between off-RS and JB compensation cycles. OLED subpixels are driven by current controlled by thin film transistors or TFTs, and over time, the TFTs would degrade, causing a shift in the voltage threshold required to activate the OLED subpixels. The role of image cleaning or of RS is to compensate for the voltage threshold shift and other parameters, therefore rectifying the variation in current, 
so that the input data would result in the correct output value. On most WRGB OLED displays, including the LG 27GR95QE, off-RS compensation is usually carried out in standby after every 4 hours of accumulated use, taking between 5 and 10 minutes depending on the screen size. As you can see from my power meter, this is the wattage when image cleaning or off-RS compensation is being carried out in standby on the Ultra Gear 27GR95QE. And this is the wattage after the compensation cycle has been completed. If you turn off the power from the mains, then the compensation cycle cannot be executed. This is the reason why you should never switch off the mains power on any OLED monitor or television. Now, on top of TFT degradation, OLED subpixels also lose luminosity over time due to unavoidable aging of the organic material and it's the uneven wear across the OLED panel that leads to permanent screen burn. Pixel cleaning or JB compensation is designed to detect the OLED degradation at each subpixel, then use a lookup table to translate OLED voltage shift to luminance compensation value, helped by an AI-based algorithm if it's an OLED EX or newer panel. Because OLED compensation could accelerate degradation, the goal of JB compensation is to boost OLED luminance to a gradually diminishing target instead of to the original luminance when new. On OLED EX and MLA panels, such as that implemented on the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE, JB compensation will run automatically after every 500 hours of accumulated use or you can manually trigger the process through the pixel cleaning setting in the OLED care submenu. Together with the presence of an extra white subpixel to alleviate the luminance workload, these anti-screen burn measures help WRGB OLED displays prove more resistant to OLED burn-in than QD OLEDs in the long term, judging from the results of ratings OLED burn-in longevity test. There have also been anecdotal reports of some QD OLED monitors running hot, but unfortunately I haven't received a review sample of a second generation QD OLED monitor to verify. Now, back to the LG Ultra Gear 27GR95QE monitor. It's equipped with an MLA or Micro Lens Array OLED panel. To find out how MLA technology improves OLED brightness without increasing the risk of OLED burn-in, Please watch my explanation video by clicking here.